Good morning and welcome to Build 2016. Windows 10 is off to an amazing start. It's the fastest growing version of Windows with both consumers and enterprises. So we need to infuse into our computers and computing intelligence, intelligence about us and our context. But we want to get started with Windows 10 and what that opportunity represents to all of you. And to do that, let me please welcome Terry Myerson up on stage. Thank you. Hello, developers. And today, we're so excited to share with you what we've been working on. The anniversary update to Windows 10 coming this summer for free to all of our Windows 10 customers. But with this anniversary update, you're now gonna be able to use this secure and easy biometric authentication with your apps. With the anniversary update, we'll introduce an all new Windows Ink experience. Our goal is to make using a pen with your device as seamless and as easy as pen and paper. With this, an this anniversary update, will come to your Xbox One. And of course, the anniversary update will come to HoloLens. Ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all feeling this morning? With this anniversary update, man, I'm pumped. We're gonna completely modernize the PC. Now let's talk about more personal computing and getting a little bit productive here, all right? Make some noise if you still write stuff down all the time on pen and paper. Our goal with Windows Inc. is to really combine the, the naturalness and the speed of pen and paper with the power of a PC. This is the Inc. workspace. All things Inc. are here. These are the three tasks people do most. I'm gonna jump in on that in a second. But look at this, my most recently used pen apps, I can get right back in and do what I was doing. Also down here, tips and tricks. So users are gonna know what to do with this pen. We're gonna walk you through that. All right, today on Windows 10, we have 8 million monthly active users of sticky notes and 3 million daily active users. So of course, we're gonna make this better. I can get to my sticky notes right here, check this out. I wrote the word tomorrow, and because we're combining the power of the pen and the PC, you see it turn blue. So that if I touch it, my homie who rocks at reminders, Cortana is easily able to come up and actually set that reminder for me. 72% of people uh, still use pen and paper. Here's what I want to call out, because I have the power of the PC, I can do some cool stuff like have a ruler. So maybe these lines were not as cool as I wanted them to be. Uh, look how I'm easily able to come in and rotate this. I can come in and get my lines super straight. I can come in and do this. Let's say I want to go for a hike, and I found a really cool route is to go do this. Now watch what happens. This ink is going to be smart enough again to, to dry and know that that's 2.1 miles. But watch this, I can make a little place and say, here's where we're going to meet. Uh, and then up here, I'll say, maybe we're going to stop and do some lunch. Okay. And then uh, right up here, maybe I'm going to go and say, here's where we're going to do the picture. When I turn this to 3D, that ink is smart enough to actually stick to that thing. Check this out. We've all done it, whether you're helping your, your children with their homework or, or if you're a teacher yourself. But look, look how easy this is now in, in Word. I cross out a word, it's gone. Maybe I don't like this whole paragraph. Okay. We've always had inking in Word, but watch how the text is actually reflowing. Also, if you're like me and you're not artistically inclined, maybe when you highlight stuff, it looks like this. That's cool, look what happens. Now also today, PowerPoint does a great job at aligning things naturally on vertical and horizontal axes. Let me show you what the ruler can do here. So two things, when I move this ruler with two fingers, uh, I'm, easy, I'm able to easily control the rotation. When I use one, that rotation's locked. So what I can actually do is move this down here and snap these objects alongside this ruler. And Adobe's embracing this. I'm gonna talk you through something they made for us. Check this out. It's very faint, but that's a stencil called a French curve. It's willfully faint because Adobe does not want their tools to get in the artist's way. All right, but watch what happens. Simultaneous pen and touch is enabled with the Windows Inc. platform. Ladies and gentlemen, that is just the beginning. There is no way I could show you all this on stage. There is so much more coming. And this is an open platform. Partners like Twitter, Bank of America, Starbucks, Uber, Disney, Square Enix, Yahoo, Worldwide Wrestling, and more. And Facebook will be bringing a new universal app for Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger to the store very soon. We want Windows to be home for developers. So I am excited to announce that today we are releasing Visual Studio Update 2 and a preview of the anniversary SDK. So next I want to move and talk about web development. So today I am so excited to announce the Bash Shell is coming to Windows. This is native Ubuntu Linux binaries running on Windows through the magic of a new Windows subsystem. We've partnered with Canonical to deliver this great console experience, which you'll be able to download directly from the Windows Store. And so today, I'm excited to announce that we're now adding the desktop app converter for Win32 and .NET apps and games. What this converter does, it takes an existing desktop app and converts it into a Centennial, 
what we now call a modern desktop app. So I'm also happy to share that Sage 200 will be coming to the Windows Store this summer. Hello, everyone. Good morning. This morning, we will demonstrate how Windows 10 provides the most productive and efficient platform for developers of all sizes. So H2 HD running as a modern desktop application, taking advantage of all of the features that Windows 10 enables. Today, I'm pleased to announce Xbox Dev Mode, giving developers the ability to convert the retail Xbox One into a development kit. We will also be adding a single unified store across devices. We will also be bringing Cortana to Xbox One and the foundation for some of the most requested new features, features like background music, which will also come with the anniversary update. We'll announce new anniversary update features for Xbox One and Windows 10 at E3 in June. Welcome on stage, HoloLens's co-creator, Kudo Tsunoda. We're elated to announce, and we couldn't be more proud, Microsoft HoloLens will start shipping to our Windows developers and to our enterprise partners. Sure, we love that. I love that. We are piloting amazing universal Windows applications created specifically for mixed reality in our new holographic landscape. And today, I am honored to have Dr. Pamela Davis, Dean of Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine, and two of our team members, Henry and Jeff, join us. Today, we're going to show you some of our work on our holographic anatomy program. Henry. Can you tell us which organ in the body aids in digestion and also makes insulin? Yes, that would be the pancreas. It'd be a little hard to see it behind the stomach here. Well, thankfully, with HoloLens, it's really easy to get the best view of things. So I want to now switch gears to talk about this conversation as a platform. We can teach computers to learn human language, have conversational understanding, but we want to take that same power of human conversations and apply it to everything else. A personal digital assistant that knows you, knows about your world, and is always with you across all your devices. So this is the rich world of conversations that we envision. People to people, people to your personal digital assistant, people to bots, and even personal digital assistants calling on bots on your behalf. Bots are like new applications, and digital assistants are meta apps or like the new browsers. It's built natively into Windows, but it's not limited to Windows. It's going to be available on all your devices, whether iOS, Android, across all of your applications. Please help me welcome Marcus Ash uh, from the Cortana team. Good morning, everyone. So here I've got this beautiful all-in-one with a nice big screen. You can see at the top left corner, Cortana's ready for me to have a conversation. This experience is going to be shipping in the anniversary update. It's also going to be available in 13 countries. Here's an early preview of some new experiences that we'll release in the coming months. The idea there is Cortana's now in Outlook, and she's looking at my email. Send Chuck the PowerPoint that I worked on last night. Sure thing. I found this PowerPoint document. Is this it? And I can go ahead and get that sent. And we were talking about getting together after the keynote. Any Michigan? I can go ahead and respond right here from my PC. Cortana knows that I'm talking about meeting with Ben. She offers to add this to my calendar. And then she tells me, you got a couple of other things there. Can I help you move these? In this case, I took a taxi last night and Cortana found out that there was a receipt in my email and she's offering to help me put that into my expense report. Thanks, Marcus. These are our communications tools. In our case, uh, we have Outlook and Skype. What if we brought the world of bots, the new applications, to be able to do anything? We're moving into a world where you will soon be able to plan trips, shop, even talk to intelligent bots, all from within your Skype chats. So right away, as you're seeing here, there are some new things in this next generation of Skype. You see this visual video mail. So we have a video message with the transcript right below. So in this next generation of Skype, the other thing that you'll notice in the canvas is my personal assistant, Cortana, is always there in the upper right-hand corner. Or even as you can see here, she's subtly improving my messages by highlighting key points in my text, like CODIS. So now you see Cortana is actually sending me a private message. I'm going to tap that, and I go into the one-on-one -on -one conversation I have with Cortana. 
So she's telling me the Cups and Cakes bot would like to know my location for delivery. And yes, I'll share it. So right away, what you're seeing here is that the agent Cortana is actually brokering the conversation with the third party bot, the Cups and Cakes bot. Please block my calendar for CODIS from April 10th through April 12th. Um, and right away, the other thing you're gonna notice here is that Cortana actually has context from my previous chat with Gurdip. So even though I just told it the dates, it actually knows the location and you know that it's from the conversation with Gurdip. Now Cortana is proactively thinking about the next steps in coordinating my trip. So she's actually suggesting that I connect with the Weston bot. Anybody that knows me knows I normally stay at a Weston bot. Um, and so what you see here now is Cortana has actually introduced the Weston bot into the conversation. Uh, but not only has she done that, she has given the Weston bot context. So I don't have to repeat myself. The Weston bot knows this is for Dublin and it's for those particular dates. And now because Cortana has all my relevant details, the Weston bot can actually leave the conversation. Now we're seeing a third aspect of Cortana. She knows my connection. She knows who I communicate with. The other thing you'll notice is that Cortana, because she has context about why I'm pinging Danny, uh, she's pre-populated the text with context around when I'm going to Dublin and basically why I want to talk to her. And I now have the pleasure of announcing we will also be bringing intelligence into real-time video. And the best part is that starting today, developers will have access to our first ever Skype bot SDK. Also, to make this even sweeter for developers, as of today, Skype consumers will have access to bots in our latest Windows, iOS, and Android apps. With HoloLens becoming available, we are also bringing intelligence into your virtual conversations with Skype for HoloLens. We envision a world of many conversational canvases. So today, I'm so excited to introduce a brand new platform for creating intelligent and connected bots, the Microsoft Bot Framework. To show you what it's like, I put together a simple bot that orders me a pizza from Domino. I'll say hi to my bot, and it'll respond. And if I say slash order, it'll take just a second, and there we go, my order's on its way. Now, up next, I'd like to introduce Lily Chang, who's gonna give you a sneak peek at some upcoming intelligent tools coming to the bot framework in the future. So here, you can see a user has said, can you deliver three large pepperoni pizzas to my crib? So you're laughing, so you know and I know that my crib is slang for house, but the system doesn't know that. So it's really easy for me, if I think it's appropriate, to um, tag it, add as a location, and save. Well, today, I want to introduce you to Microsoft.com slash Cognitive, our new portfolio of intelligent services. And we have 22 APIs for you to get started with for free today. All I need to do in this app is either take a photo or upload some image URL. Let's just take this desk here and use it. It calls into the new Vision APIs. And what it's able to do, it's able to recognize objects in the image. We also give you a confidence score. If the confidence is low, you know we're not quite sure if we're seeing what we say we're seeing. Take it a step further by not just recognizing objects, but also figuring out the relationships behind them. And then using natural language, to create a coherent description of what you're seeing in the image. It thinks it's a herd of cattle standing on a dry grass field. So it trips up. It says, I'm not really confident, but I think it's Leonardo da Vinci sitting in front of the mirror and she seems neutral face. This demo is a quick little app that we put together to show you a service we call Chris. We had some kids here read a book about giants and you can clearly see that Chris gets that it's, kid is not talking about dancing. He's talking about giants and the fact that they love large bags. And one developer truly inspired me this last year, very close to home for us at Microsoft. I want to see what he dreamt of. I'm Sakib Sheikh. I lost my sight when I was seven. I joined Microsoft 10 years ago as a software engineer. I think it's a man jumping in the air doing a trick on a skateboard. When you're talking to a bigger group, sometimes you can talk and talk and there's no response and you think, is everyone listening really well? Or are they half asleep? And you never know. I see two faces, 40-year-old man with a beard looking surprised. 
20 year old woman looking happy. I can use the app on my phone to take a picture of the menu and it's going to guide me on how to take that correct photo. Move camera to the bottom right and away from the document. And then it'll recognize the text. Read me the headings. I see appetizers, salads, paninis, pizzas, pastas. I think this is just the beginning.